Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's Sweden and they take on Belgium. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here's the starting 11 for Sweden. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. The starting players for Belgium. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And now they get the ball rolling. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Fridolina Rolfe, Carolina Sega are getting the ball forward. Is she going to score? The crossbar got in the way. Just the clearance that was called for. And the cross is very much on. And the referee says corner kick. Trying to pick out a teammate. Struggling to get it away. Well, threat averted. Kaiman. Targets available. Cross comes in. Not all that convincing defensively. And a time for cool heads. Fisher. Here's Ericsson. Carolina Sega. Stina Blackstenius. Here's Jakobsson. Well, they're eyeing that final pass you just feel. Cleared away comprehensively. A wonderful intervention. That's fine play to keep control of the ball. Janice Kaiman. And that pass could be troublesome. Stina Blackstenius. And the emphasis is on creativity. 
The delivery towards the back post. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Tusiak. Marie Minard. Davina Filtjens. And it might be. The save was a good one. And now the delivery. It didn't happen for them. And a good-looking ball. Nicely blocked. Well, not cleared away completely. An awful lot of green space to run into. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And the keeper has possession of it. Van Havermaet. And still looking for space. That's all they can conjure for now. Jakobsson. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Cross fired over. And dealt with that ball comfortably. Firing it towards goal. Tremendous block. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Playing it in. No nonsense clearance. Might be able to get in behind the. Oh, a superb save! Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Played over. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Lenny Onzia. Kaiman. How about the cross? Oh, fancy footwork. And a goal! And back underway, 1-0 it is. Well, attacking possibilities, but really sticking to the task defensively. Well, as you can see, Belgium haven't enjoyed the majority of... Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Well, potentially a chance for Belgium to extend their advantage from this corner. Who can they pick out? No worries for the keeper. Stina Blackstenius. Promising sequence, but they took care of the situation defensively. Over the touchline for a throw in. Crossing possibilities. Can they square the game? And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise.
Can someone get on the end of this? And a no-nonsense clearance. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. There will be one minute added on at the end. Went in strongly, decisively. And attempting the through ball. Could it be? And it's in! All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. And now they get the ball rolling. to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Amber Tusiak Fultjens Minart Van Havermaet chance to cross is she going to score? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, the stats back up what we've seen so far. Some good attacking football, chances for both teams, and plenty to enjoy. Let's hope for more of the same. Rolfe. Ready to fire. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Getting forward. Well, possibilities in the center, but nothing to worry about. Corner kick played in. And not the best clearance. Superbly read and executed. Magdalena Eriksson. And intercepted it. And the cross is very much on. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Now well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? And time for the change now.
Trying to deliver it accurately. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Sega. An unforced error, you've got to say. Crossing into the middle. Well, it still could be dangerous. And problem solved for now. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Anna Glass. Magdalena Eriksson. And Aslani. Jakobsson. Could play it in. Chance to finish. Really sound defending. Chance to put them in front. And a goal it is. Just what she was hoping to contribute. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And they have possession again. A bit of running room now on the wing. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Oh, big opportunity. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game and into the last 15 minutes of action now the action continues and no shortage of goals 3-1 as things stand Space and time for the cross. Gives it a go. Now closed down straight away. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Stina. Oh, in with a chance. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Ericsson. Now with Sega. Counter-attacking very much an option. And the decision is one of offside here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench.
Useful looking ball. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And she's fired it just over the bar. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Delightful pass. It's come off the keeper. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Firing it towards goal. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.